In the next three minutes, you're going to learn about halftones and how to apply this effect using Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so jump into Illustrator and then drop some text onto the artboard using the type tool. Make a copy of the text, which we'll use later in the tutorial. And then you want to make sure that the text is selected and go to effect, blur, radial blur. Then we're going to use the amount of 25 with a blur method of spin and we're going to use the best quality. Once the blur effect has been applied, if you notice the solid hard edge along the top and bottom, what you want to do is undo the blur effect, go to effect, document raster effect settings and then under the option to the bottom change the amount around the object to something like 100 and then press ok and then reset the text and then reapply the radial blur effect next again with the text selected go to object rasterize and you can keep the background set to white and then press OK. And now that's turned the text layer into a rasterized image. Next, to apply the halftone effect, select the rasterized image and then go to Effect, Pixelate, Color Halftone. And then in the Color Halftone settings, you want to use a radius of something like 30 pixels. But this can and will also depend on the size of your document. And then the screen angle channels, you want to make sure that they're set to a number which is all the same. Again, feel free to experiment with these numbers because you can achieve some different effects. Once you're happy, press OK and that should apply the half tone effect to the text. With the effect applied, the next thing we need to do is return this image into vector format and the way we can do that is with the image trace tool. So in the top toolbar at the top where it says image trace, click the little arrow and select sketch and then Illustrator will do its thing and then if we click the options button we can just make sure that the options are set to ignore the color white and then once you're happy with the way it looks, select expand and that will turn the halftone effect back into a group of vector objects. Next, select the duplicated text, which we duplicated at the start of the tutorial. Right click and go to create outlines. And then while the text is still selected, go to object path offset path. And then we want to offset the path by about minus 10 pixels. Then press OK. And then while the text is still selected, press Ctrl X on the keyboard to cut. Select the original text layer, hit the delete key, then go to edit, paste in place. And then while the text is still selected, press Ctrl G to regroup those text elements together. Next, make selection around both objects and then single click onto the half tone effect to make that the key object. And then you just want to vertically and horizontally center the text over the top. Reselect both text layers and then we can simply add our desired color. So I'm just going to color pick the yellow color and then from there you've got the half tone effect. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and want to explore more exciting techniques, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from the community and I'm always eager to engage with fellow creatives. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.